Hey guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with our every Monday morning uh, PWCC weekly auction recap where we look at the top 96 cards that sold. I've got them pulled up here. I'm going to get this out as early as I can in the morning so you guys see what went up, what went down, and we'll look at the top 96 basketball cards and basketball wax that sold last night in the PWCC weekly auction that ended Sunday evening. For those of you who don't know, these auctions start on Thursdays and they end 10 days later on the next Sunday. And uh, this was auction number 17. Auction number 18 is obviously rolling right now. I actually had some cards in this auction number 17. We'll talk about a couple of them. Uh, and I have a great quantity of cards in weekly auction number 18, uh, which is gonna mark one of the biggest transitions in my collection. Uh, since I've been collecting. So uh, let's uh, let's not waste any time. I've got our first row pulled up here. Again, no monsters, a lot of very lower end, I say low end cards. I mean, these cards, you know, are costing, you know, the, the price of a used SUV and they're little pieces of cardboard, but it's not what we're accustomed to seeing with the huge numbers and the huge cards that have been selling lately. Um, the biggest card on here is your 2003 SP Authentic LeBron Autograph. This is only a seven grade with a 10 auto sold for 18,600. The Kobe Titanium next to it is a really um, really big time card from uh, 98 Skybox. It's a uh, number to 250 and this is the Fusion. Uh, number to 250 in BGS 9.5. It's only a pop 13 card. That card sold for 15,600. The last one sold for 10,800 in PWCC one week ago. Uh, so seven days earlier, I even checked here and I went to the view all sales and I looked at this card to make sure it wasn't like an unpaid card that accidentally slipped through the cracks with card ladder. It wasn't the same card. So this is another 9.5 copy uh that sold last night this one obviously had premium subgrades with a 10 centering and then three 9.5s uh and that marked a huge jump over the last one so a five thousand six hundred dollar jump uh over the last one that sold only seven days ago for the uh for the supreme subgrades uh we got a steph curry crown royale autograph rookie card sold for fifteen thousand six hundred next row we got a red contenders optic donchich 15.6 the pink pulsar donchich 15,000. I wonder um, if the if the extended bidding, could it have been timed any better with Luca literally urinating all over the helpless sons, laughing at them, blowing them out of the building, and then watching and joking around with his teammates in Phoenix uh, during game seven, uh, knowing that they were, uh, they were now about to go to the uh, Western Conference Finals and face the Warriors. Uh, I gotta believe whoever was selling Doncic cards last night timed it as impeccably as possible. Uh, so I think extended bidding was going on during that blowout win in game seven on uh, Phoenix's home floor. Uh, the Jordan uh, Scoring Kings PSA 10 sells for 13,800. This is a card that's near and dear to my heart since I own it, so let's pull it up. Uh, as you can see, the card's up 119% over the last two years. If we scooch this down though, I wanna show you something. Over the last three months, the cards dipped pretty significantly. Uh, I am not ashamed to say, well, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say, I bought mine for I think around 16, something like that. And so uh, since I bought mine, <laughs> You know, not surprisingly, uh, 14 4, 14,000, 14 4, and then the last one sold for a shocking and eye popping 10,000. Um, you know, that card sold on eBay, the pictures were bad. Um, if I recall, I'm not sure the seller might have been foreign seller. You can look all that stuff up on Card Ladder if you want to get into the details. Uh, but last night, uh, this one bucked the trend and bounced back to 13,800, which was good to see as an owner of this card. I've got the entire Scoring Kings complete set in PSA 10. One of uh, only one, maybe two sets in the world, as far as I know. <laughs> Comment below if you've got the set. Uh, I think there's only one. I think it's just mine, but there might be two. Um, anyway, as we always talk about, impossible to take pictures of this card. I think that's part of the problem is you can't truly appreciate how beautiful this Scoring Kings insert is, and regardless of the grade, unless you've actually got the card in your hand um, but uh, but this one last night jumps back up three thousand eight hundred dollars for three thousand seven hundred over that last low sales price back to about what we expected just shy of fourteen thousand really cool uh three color autograph patch uh rookie card of kevin durant um it's a uh, limited logos um sorry yeah just just exquisite limited logos here kevin durant autograph patch didn't get the um autograph graded I don't think. Yeah, didn't get the autograph graded, just the card. Uh, number to 25, 12,600. That's a pop one in PSA 10. That's a really cool card. Somebody's buying the dip on KD while the hobby is down on him and the media is down on him. 
for his disappearing act. Uh, 86 Fleer Jordan uh, BGS 9. Let's look it up. We always like to keep an eye on the 86 Fleer Jordan card. Uh, this has been pretty steady lately. It's down 10% or 9.6% over the last one month. Uh, you know, as always, when we look at this card, it's up 33% over the last two years, but over the last year, it's down 33%. So it gave it all right back. Uh, if we look at it over the last one month, it's down 9.6%. It's been a pretty steady 11.5, 12.5, 12.0, something like that kind of card, depending on the subgrades. Last night it goes for 11.7, so no surprise there. It's right on the number. Um, you know, centering being 8.5, that's probably the most important subgrade on these 86 Fleer cards. So 11.7 uh, is about what was expected last night. Significant numbers auto uh, Jordan card here. It is a uh, pop two in this BGS 9.5 condition. That's a premium subs as well because it's got one tenth for surface. Uh, that one sells for 11,700, fellas. Really cool looking horizontal auto card right there. I've never seen that card. Uh, that's a really good looking card. Good autograph. Uh, Hoops Bams in a really bad grade. Um, you know, not very many of these have been graded by PSA, even in a PSA 6 condition. This card is numbered to 250, and we know that Jordan numbered, serial numbered inserts are running right now uh, on the uptick. Uh, in 90s for the most part not all of them but for the most part uh, this one sells for 11,400 uh, a Shaq star rubies which you don't see every day pop four three graded higher in 8.5 condition uh, 11,400 those are numbered to 50 remember the star rubies are numbered to 50 uh, the Jordan red PMG Fleer uh, or I guess retro I mean I thought it was Fleer retro but I guess it's metal universe precious metal gems PMG retro uh, numbered to 50 in a BGS 6, sells for 10,500. Good looking card there. I'm not big on the retros. I'll just get the originals. Thank you very much. Um, and here's what's interesting. So a BGS 9, we just looked at a BGS 9 Jordan with uh, 8.5 centering sells for 11.7. And I can't, somebody paid a 10,200 for an extremely off center with the OC designation PSA 9. I don't understand that to be quite honest with you. Um, I don't understand the move here. Maybe it was an unsophisticated buyer who didn't know the difference between a 9 OC and a, and a regular PSA 9, uh, but that centering is an eyesore. Uh, I don't like that purchase price. I would much rather have that BGS 9 uh, and buy the card, not the grade. Uh, and I definitely don't like buying cards with any uh, you know, PSA designations on them, whether it's PD or OC or MC or any of those. Uh, next card we're going to look up is our 96-97. Yeah, and, and again, this is probably half price. I get it, but it's got the OC designation. So uh, I don't think that's an especially good decision right there. Uh, 96 Jordan credentials. Uh, these cards are numbered to 499. Again, serial number Jordans. Here it is. Let's pull it up. Very steady the last four sales. 11.4, 11.4, 12, 11.7. It's only a pop 36. This one goes for 9,900 humongous win right here in my opinion this is a big time get uh i realize the top is extremely diamond cut like very noticeably diamond cut um you know and it's one of those things it's just very difficult to hide with the uh, what's supposed to be a parallel you know window pane and uh the word credentials i mean you can see how diamond cut that is that has to account for this drop in price because this is a just a gorgeous gorgeous card that whole set is gorgeous even the base card is gorgeous in that set uh, 9,900 is a, a pretty significant drop off from the last sale, which was 11,700. So $1,800 drop. Uh, the Doncic Optic Rated Rookies Blue Signature. So it's a color match and it is only numbered to 49. It's BGS 9.5. Let's look that one up. Uh, again, Giannis was demolishing the Suns last night. The last one sold for 8,100. And you can see what kind of trend Luca's cards have been on. This doesn't make sense to me. I just don't get it. $20,900 card uh, less than, what, six months ago, seven months ago, all the way down to $8,100 for a first-team All-NBA guy doing everything that was asked. $8,100 jumps back up. So it's good to see we've hit the floor and bounced back. I don't have that card, but you got to be able to appreciate that card. Kind of a fruity, goofy-looking picture, I will be quite honest with you, but uh, $9,900 for that one. Uh, Aluka Immaculate Raw. Uh, rookie card, number to 99. Uh, not the greatest patch, but there is a little bit of black in that patch, as you can see on the side. Uh, goes for 9,600. Horizontal RPA, Trey Young. This is the bronze parallel, so it's number to 25, not 49. Uh, goes for 9,600. Um, if you're asking me to choose between these two, I am grabbing this number to 99 Doncic Raw right next to it all day long and sending it into BGS to get graded at 8.5 or a 9. Um, 
Magic Bird, SGC 96, 9300, Kobe Playmakers Theater, really hot insert from the 90s, as we know, uh, $9,300 on that card, number to 100. People swear that if you hold it in your hand, you'll fall in love with the card. Uh, it is, does have a kind of a cool, interesting sort of, uh, you know, art museum feel to it as far as the background goes. Those shoes that Kobe wore were absolutely horrific. Those are just some of the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Just my personal thoughts. Uh, let's look at this. This is interesting. Um, everybody knows the LeBron commodity card market is tanking, right? It's down. It's continuing to go down. We're still looking for the floor. Every episode I do, we're asking, where's the floor? Where's the floor? Where's the floor? Well, this is, I would consider a commodity card, despite the fact that it is number 999, right? In today's society, that's high pop, right? Everybody thinks 999 is crazy high pop. That's the direction the hobby's headed. If it's not less than pop 20, then, you know, it's a high pop card, whatever. Uh, in PSA 10 condition, um, this LeBron card here is a pop 40. Okay, so 999 out there, sure. PSA 10 is pop 40, and uh, they've added one in the last year to the pop report. Look at the trend this card's on 15 6, 15 6, 12 6, 8,700, and then finally last night it bounces, right? And so we see a $600 uptick despite the fact that LeBron is somewhere on a banana boat watching. Uh, Doncic play, watching Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown do their thing. Um, so his card bounces uh, back upward. That's a good sign. So a riser here, always good to see. Uh, right next to a Clay Thompson, uh, 2012 National Treasures, really beautiful patch, RPA, uh, number to 199, 9,300. Uh, let's look up the John Morant blue. Let's see how the hobby's responding. You know, we're what, uh, maybe three days or something since John Morant got bounced. Maybe seven or eight days since he got injured and was, you know, announced out for the rest of the playoffs. Uh, 9,300 last night for his blue color match. Uh, the last one sold 8,400. So this one actually went up. So here's the reaction. You know, there's the February sale for 12.93 when he was hot as a firecracker. Uh, and then two weeks ago when he was doing his thing against the Warriors, he was 8,400. After getting bounced from the playoffs and injured, his card goes up, so that's good to see. 9,300 sale last night. A LeBron Pristine Gold Refractor. These are numbered in 99, sold for 9,000 in PSA 9 condition. Doncic Contenders 1010, 9,000. Uh, Barkley NBA sticker, uh, PSA 10, 8,700 last night. Where does this card fit? Uh, last one was 8,700 as well, uh, three days before. So still down, Dar Barkley's down 31%, it's only a pop 233, and again, I can't keep reiterating this, this is the only rookie card. This is not like Doncic and Morant and even LeBron where there's, you know, 25, 40, 50, 80, 100, 500 different rookie card options to choose from. This is it, unless you're a star proponent and you want to claim the stars as rookie card. This is what you've got to work with right here. So his 86 Fleer has been on a 31% decline over the last three months. Obviously, if you look at two years, you're going to be okay, up 114%. But this is, you know, pretty interesting that over the last, you know, over the last year, it's down 40%. It sold for 8,700 last time and it sells for 8,700 again last night. So maybe we're finding that floor uh, despite the fact that this one does have a gold NBA sticker on it. Uh, Tie-dye Doncic rookie card, BGS 9.5 with a 10 centering, 8,700. That's a pop eight card. Uh, Jambalaya with missing foil. You may recognize this. This is my card. Sells for 8,400. Really surprised that it only sold for 8,400. Really thought that was going to sell for a little bit more. Uh, there is a story behind it. I know it's not the die cut, but I really thought that would get a little bit more than 8,400, but it is what it is. Um, and then the Jordan uh, autograph here, I like this. Of all the Wizards autographs, this is one of the coolest that I've seen with this three, four color patch, four color patch. Just really cool looking patch autograph there. Uh, 40 out of 50. It's pop one in PSA 8 condition. None have graded higher. 8,400. Uh, LeBron Auto 8.5, 8,400. And then the LeBron Clyde Frazier, Walt Frazier card autograph, which is really an odd combination. I'm not I don't really understand that pairing, but Exquisite does some cool stuff. Uh, I guess if you're, you know, a collector of Walt Frazier cards and you, you know, there's probably not a large quantity of dual autos between Walt Frazier and anybody, let alone Michael Jordan. So maybe that meant a whole lot to a Walt Frazier collector. 8,400 for that one. Uh, the Tim Duncan Legacy Collection. Uh, this is the row two. So pop one, number to 100 in PSA 10 condition, 7,800. Uh, that's a really, that just seems really, really cheap for a serial numbered 
uh, rookie card from a really recognizable, uh, you know, rookie parallel, this legacy collection for the greatest power forward that ever lived. Uh, the PSA 10 LeBron, we always look it up. Let's keep doing it. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Uh, pretty steady lately, down 5%, but 7,500, anywhere from 7,500 to 8,500. Last one sold for 7,100. So uh, another downward trend. This one goes 7,800, 7,800, 7,800. So we, I think we've hit the floor, okay? I think I can finally say, you know, this car is not going to go. I don't think this car is going to go much below 7,000. Uh, there is another one that we're going to get to down here, 7,200. And there might be another one that's just, just below that. And again, it all hinges on centering, right? These go for 7,800. Um, this one goes for 7,200. I think there's another one. Yeah, there it is uh, for 6,900 with noticeably off-center, left to right centering and top to bottom centering. So again, with a card with four white borders that are so glaring and evident, it's really hard to hide bad centering. Uh, but uh, but it looks like 7,000 is kind of the number. Uh, an exquisite Durant RPA. Uh, sorry, not uh, not RPA. Just an exquisite collection. Gold Durant number to 25. BGS 9 sells for 7,500. Uh, my only win of the night, and uh, I am very happy about my price point. Um, I collect the chalk toss. I'm kind of fiddling around with collecting the rainbow again that's not realistic because the gold is outrageous but i now have uh i now have the base the silver uh or the refractor uh i have the orange uh and now i have the uh the x fractor so i was happy to pick this up for 7500 the card's numbered to 288 in psa 10 condition that's a Top 31 card. Um, I think of all of his non-rookie cards, this one's going to be a memorable one. Uh, you know, it's often referred to as the chalk toss. Uh, the last one sold for 10,000 seven days ago, uh, as you can see, and um, and I picked it up for 7,500. I mean. You know, look, 13 months ago, this was a $27,000 card. Uh, you know, again, everything is down. You know, if we look at the last year, look at the card over the last year down. Uh, oh, it cut it out. Sorry. Uh, over the last two years, it's down 9%. But from uh, from April of last year, it's significantly down, you know, obviously. So I was very happy to pick it up for 7500 By my calculations, that is the lowest of the last 15 sales. So uh, always happy to buy LeBron cards, especially very low pop ones, pop 31 at the bottom. I was very happy about that purchase. I was as happy about that one. And yes, I'm going to pay. I'm not a deadbeat. I haven't paid yet. Uh, I was very happy about that one, almost as pissed off as I was. Uh, on the sale, uh, what I thought was a low sale for my jambalaya non die cut, uh, and here's the orange one right behind it. And so it's really interesting. Same same price, seventy five hundred for the X Fractor, seventy five hundred for the orange. You know, I guess which one would you rather? The X, the orange is you know, uh, it's a different card, right? This is the LeBron and Kobe, but these kind of cards are always looked at together. The chalk toss and then the LeBron Kobe cards are, are always kind of synonymous, you know, about that, that 2008 set. Those are the two cards that most people think of, again, excluding rookie cards and whatnot. But uh, um, I like the chalk toss personally because I don't collect Kobe. So I'd rather have a card with uh, with LeBron doing his uh, iconic pregame ritual. That's just me. Here's that other 7200 LeBron. Here's a dual patch auto Steph Curry in black ink. Pretty cool. Uh, BGS 9, 7200. A red optic Doncic rookie card. Again, remember... Uh, there's only one Barkley rookie, but there's 80 trillion Doncic, as much as I do love Luka. Uh, here's that 6,900, and you can tell, you know, by, by looking in close. I mean, the centering is very different on this one than the three ones that sold for 7,800 and even the one that sold for 7,200. So, big difference there. Uh, the run on crazy uh, 1979. Uh, PSA 10 cards continues. This is a 1979 Alex English, who was a fantastic basketball player. Uh, tremendous, tremendous score. Um, he was on the Pacers here, but I think he did most of his damage, if, I don't, uh, if I'm not mistaken, on the uh, Denver Nuggets. But let's look up that Alex English card. Uh, it's not in card ladder, but it is over here in the sales history. And if we look it up in the sales history, you know, the last one sold for 12000 The one before that, um, you know, just... A month before April, sold for five thousand. So there's that run. This one last night sells for six thousand three hundred. So go figure that five thousand, twelve thousand, sixty three hundred. I don't know what's going. And then before that, twelve thousand. I don't know what's going on with that card. There must be something that's up. Uh, that doesn't make sense. That's double. So it sold for double, then half, then double, and now half again. Uh, 
something seems off with that. I don't know. Maybe somebody can comment below and let me know what they think. Uh, here's one, power on the key. Always going to look up these early Jordan inserts in PSA 10 condition because they're crazy low pop, especially this particular card. Very tough to grade with eight dark corners and eight dark edges. Uh, very low pop card. Sold for 6300 last night. Let's look it up. Uh, it's a pop 45 in PSA 10 condition. As you can see, none have been added in the last year, and I don't suspect many more will. Over the last two years, like most Jordans, it's up pretty significantly. But over the last year, it's come back down pretty significantly. Not as much. It hadn't come all the way back, but it's come down. Uh, over the last three months, this card sold twice, 7600 and 6100 Last night it sells for 6300 so a little bit of a bump over the last sale. Uh, here's a really good looking Jordan PSA 7, which is why it got the sticker. The bottom right corner is the issue here, right? Centering's great for a 7, again, uh, but the uh, bottom right corner is pretty banged up and white and furry. Um, down there as you can see but 5640 for that one and sgc intimidation nation jordan uh 9.5 sells for 5640 uh we got a steph curry auto rookie psa 10 5640 lamello downtown 5640 and a lebron rookie autograph psa 8 5520 of the three cards on this one give me the lebron or the curry all day long i don't get it uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to be grumpy old man and bitch about it. But uh, uh, next lo next row here, we got a really off-center Jerry West, PSA 7. For It's very off-center for a 7, I should say. Um, those 61 Fleer are tough to center, of course. Uh, but this card's been on a huge uptick. You know, those people who think vintage is just slow and steady. This PSA 7 Jerry West is up 444% in 24 months. That doesn't seem slow and steady to me. It's steady, but it ain't slow. Uh, and then over the last year, it's bucked the trend. It's just so measuring from, you know, just the end of the uh, 2021 bubble, the card is still rising. So 8,400 was the last sale. This one, however, takes a huge hit down to 5,400. I've got to believe it has to do with that centering. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of from 8,400 to 5,400 seems crazy. I mean, the card hasn't sold for 5,400 in the last 12 sales. So, uh, Somebody really, really got over last night. That's a fantastic purchase for a buyer. I know the centering isn't perfect, but on those 61 Fleer, beggars can't be choosers. And it is a 7. It's not a 10. So it uh, looks really sharp otherwise with corners and edges. So uh, I think that's a really good pickup for 3000 under the last comp. Uh, Silver Doncic BGS 9.5, 10. Uh, sell for 5500 That was probably a $20,000 card at one point, if I had to guess. Uh, John, John Morant, Neon, Pulsar, In-Flight, Select. Those In-Flight cards are really cool, I must admit. That's kind of cool. It looks like a, that's a life-size Morant. That's really how big he is in, in real life. Uh, 5400 for a pop four. Kobe, Kareem, and Jerry West, you know, three of the three of the greatest Lakers of all time. Magic's missing. Uh, hell, if you put all the greatest Lakers of all time, it'd be a really big-ass card. Um, but, uh, but a big time, really cool triple autograph card there. Uh, also serial number to 25, BGS 9.5, 5280. Seems cheap to me. Uh, 86 Fleer pack, PSA 9, 5160. Uh, another LeBron second year winning materials, 5,040. Uh, micro LeBron orange number to 49, PSA 10 sells for five grand. Um, they call it micro LeBron cause he looks so tiny in the picture. It seems like they could have put more LeBron and less, you know, scoreboard at the top i don't i don't know maybe they had i don't know apparently people like it because they just paid five thousand dollars for it uh for a uh, you know 18th year lebron card a bgs9 jordan sticker with a premium uh subgrades with an a pwcc i appeal sticker sells for four thousand eight hundred let's look up the jordan electrifying i love this card i own this card in a uh, bgs 9.5 uh the psa 10 sells last night for i, I think i paid more than forty eight hundred I probably no, I probably paid about four thousand for my BGS 9.5. The card in PSA 10 sells last night. Uh, this card's been on a steady decline over the last year. Obviously, it's up over the two-year mark, but over the last year, it's down 50%. Yikes! Uh, from 82.50 uh, last June all the way down to 4,200 last night. It goes for 4,800. So that's good to see. Uh, at least it jumped a little bit last night. Um, not all Jordan inserts are going up, fellas. Some of them are going up astronomically. Some of them, there's deals to be had. It's just hit or miss. It really is. Uh, Kobe, Kobe, and Kobe on this row. Uh, I won't talk too much about them, but Kaboom, Auto, and then uh, Ultimate Signatures. Uh, a black label base, John Morant. Uh, that's how you create grading scarcity, um, you know, which is different than manufactured scarcity because this is the furthest thing from scarce. Um, 
So uh, interesting there. It does look really cool in a black label. I've always said black label cards are really cool. I own one. I own a Dwayne Wade Blue Prism uh, black label card that is just it just really really pops. Uh, it's the only time I've kind of paid that premium to get one. Uh, another Luca from his uh, rookie year, not his rookie card, but from his rookie year, number to 99, autograph, and a Bill Walton uh, Amish card, 1974, PSA 9. Uh, here is uh, the same card that I got uh, earlier for 7,500. The BGS 9.5 minimum gem goes for 4,440. A Jimmy Butler uh, RPA. Nice timing here. Uh, you know, maybe Jimmy Butler can make it to a finals. It's not out of the question. Uh, the Celtics, you know, uh, just got through a dogfight that took everything out of them from the Bucks, And uh, I don't think the Heat underwent quite the, uh, the punishment that the Celtics did. And the Heat have no problem being physical with people. So this is going to be an awful series to watch. Uh, Jalen Brown's the only player in that series that I like. I don't mind Bam Adebayo. Um, but, um, I, again, I, obviously as a Bucks fan, I hate the Celtics. I hate everything about them. Uh, I hope they get swept. Um, not that I'm biased. Uh, 1974 Gervin, uh, PSA 9 right here. This is uh, Gervin's rookie card, uh, 4,320. Uh, Jordan SGC 7, a Kobe exquisite collection, and an Oscar Robertson in-action card from uh, 61 Fleer. Um, so, uh, it, it, for those of you who don't know, in 61 Flair, there's a base card, but then there's also an in-action card. Um, and I think this is the, the in-action card. Maybe, am I wrong? Well, that's not his rookie. I know that's not his rookie, yeah. So, um, yeah, there's in-action. I'm not sure why it's not on the label. I'm looking for it on the label, but it's not on there. Uh, but anyway, PSA 9, 4200. Uh, the Bird Magic PSA 8. Let's look it up. Uh, here we go. We got it pulled up. Uh, again, another card that's on the steady decline over the last three months. Uh, I'm guessing over the last two years, it's done pretty well, up 31%. There you go. That's your slow and steady, right? But over the last three months, you know, 41 sales, not a rare card, popped 20, almost 2,900, more being added every day. Over the last month, it's down 23%, so still going down. Uh, 4,000, this was actually my card, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I got to go back and look. I think I liquidated most of my Bird and Magic cards, and, uh, and I'm keeping my PSA 9. Uh, again, I'm making some moves. I'm trying to consolidate and make some changes and, and pay some bills. Uh, 4000 for uh, the last sale. This one goes for 4200 So uh, if that is my card, I'm very happy with it. I probably should know that. I did not do any research about what I was selling and pulling up my particular cards because uh, this is not about that. This is about showing you guys what's uh, what the top 100 are. I like this card. Um, I think I have this card in uh, BGS 9.5. Uh, but this is a really cool one. This is the 1010, and it sold for 4200 last night. That's that fast break auto. And then you can get the sensational signatures um, BGS 1010 of his base uh, autograph. That's a pop four in that condition. 4200 last night. Uh, this is a cool looking black X Fractor. Uh, I mean, it's just just an X Fractor, but it is you know it's black background. So really cool looking Kobe card. The X Fractors back then, I just you know the Starburst or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't really like it. And I know I just picked up a huge LeBron one, but I don't really care for it as much as the pure refractor or the orange um, or obviously the gold. Uh, but, um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure I love that starburst pattern. It just kind of makes it difficult to see uh, what's going on in the picture, if you ask me. Um, but an MB gold, this is the prism variation gold, so not his base gold. Uh, people don't dig the prism variate, the photo variations for some reason. Uh, but again, 3960 seems really cheap for who's going to be one of you know one of the great big men of all time. I mean, he's going to be discussed in the same conversation. If he doesn't win a ring, he's going to be in the same conversation as the Patrick Ewings, um, you know, um, guys like that. He, he's going to be in that conversation, fellas. Um, so uh, Tyler Hero, I remember when this card sold for like 35000 near the bubble. Uh, 3960 last night. Uh, Hero has lived up to the hype and turned out to be the player we thought he was. Um, but uh, again, just a lot's changed in the hobby since uh, since the bubble. Uh, green uh, choice number to eight, Micro LeBron PSA nine sells for 3840. Lynchpin sells for 3720. I've got this pulled up. Um, maybe somebody can talk me off a ledge and explain this. Um, so card ladder for this one is using uh, something new called the grade ratio value. I'm going to read this to you guys so you guys know what it is. Graded ratio value attempts to estimate the value of a card that hasn't sold in the last year using a recent comp from another grade of this same card using sales in the past where this card sold around the same time as the BGS 9 copy, the ratio was found to be 2.73. 
using the current value of the BGS9, we have determined the value of this card. So card letter says it's approximately, despite the fact that it sold for 5,400 in June 2020, that's a long time ago, right? Card ladder has an estimated value using this grade ratio value, not the Jordan index, but the grade ratio value of 16,800. Last night it sold for 3,720. So something's wrong. Either this sold for way too little or card ladder is 4X where it should be. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll let you guys decide and comment below. Uh, another Clay Thompson RPA, this one from Immaculate Collection. Uh, sells for thirty-seven twenty, and then a Jordan Auto, and then a Kobe Auto. Here, uh, we've got the uh, the true RPA for Jaron Jackson, uh, who actually had a really good series and and played really well. I'm not a huge fan. I don't think he has a tremendous amount of upside. I think he's gonna have a long career. Uh, he's a good player. I don't think he's the second best player on a championship team or anything. Uh, sells for thirty-seven twenty. LeBron Chrome BGS nine point five thirty-six hundred. Another LeBron Auto over here. Jeez, I'm BGS4. What the heck happened here? Did somebody chop a corner off or color on the back of it? I don't even want to look. Uh, BGS4, BGS4, 10 autograph. I think I'm probably going to send that to PSA and just slab it authentic. Uh, hobby box here from 2018 Prism. Uh, those are going to be super, super, super valuable one day. Uh, Golden Touch Jordan BGS9 die cut. Uh, probably the more popular, despite not being the more rare of the two Golden Touch cards. Uh, exquisite Collection, first year Exquisite, PSA 9, Kobe. That's only a Pop 8 in PSA 9. No PSA 10s. That's impressive. Uh, goes for $34.80. Uh, Steph Curry, Downtown. LaMelo, all kinds of weird crap in the background. What's that called? Black Velocity, okay. Uh, number to 39, PSA 10. Isaiah, 86 Fleer, PSA 10. Yeah, I'm biased. I'm always going to look up the 86 Fleer stuff. Last card we're going to look up. Uh, the last three sales of this Isaiah card, here's a super premium one, right? So you know what? Let's change this. That's not really indicative. Let's go here. Uh, so 4,000. This one had a you know a really nice PWCC sticker. So 4,000, about 3,700, 3,500. And then this one last night goes for 3,360. So uh, Isaiah card dropping a little bit. Again, I hate the guy. I don't like him. Didn't like him as a player. Don't like him as a human, really, to be quite honest with you. Um, just based on what I've seen and heard. Uh, but it's only a Pop 189 for his rookie card. I, I just recently did a deal on Pop Report, uh, which is coming out later today, where, you know, basically I say CP3 was better than Isaiah in every way. The only distinction is Isaiah has two rings um, and, uh, and CP3 has a zero. And he disappeared last night. So the Pop Report was filmed before uh, CP3's disappearing act. So don't hold it against me. But uh, CP3 is better than Isaiah in almost every single metric, no matter how you measure it. Statistically, he was a significantly better basketball player than Isaiah Thomas, uh, but a bunch of old heads are going to point to the you know the two titles or whatever. So um, anyway, that Isaiah card is actually still dipping uh, down to 33.60. I tried to sneak in and swipe this. I've already got this card in PSA 10. Uh, it's one of Jordan's earliest inserts from uh, 1992 Fleer. It's the team leader, really condition sensitive card, very low population. Uh, went for 33.60 last night. Jordan's first refractor. Uh, I didn't explore the card episode. In fact, I think it was episode one was uh, was on the uh, 1993 uh, Finest Refractor. Uh, that was my very first explore the card episode way back when, 25 episodes ago. Uh, BGS nine sells for 33.60. Kobe Lucky 13 um, of the draft. Not sorry, not Lucky 13. Kobe draft pick number 13. His draft redemption card sells for 33.60 in gem mint condition. Um, Reggie Miller, really cool, exquisite. Uh, Reggie Miller patch auto for those Reggie Miller collectors out there. That really is a good looking card. Uh, one of the most overrated Hall of Famers of all time. If you don't believe me, go look at his numbers. Uh, right place, right time. Big, big stage performer. But numbers wise, he doesn't hold up to some of the other great shooting guards of all time. Uh, Yao Ming, uh, BGS 8.5, 10 auto, three color patch. Just a cool card. Uh, Kobe Bryant, always think it's noir, but it's not. It's uh, eminence. Every time I see it, I think noir. And that does it, guys. That's it. Uh, just those just those top 96 some risers some fallers I think last week was almost exclusively fallers this week we see some up some down uh, some stuff is just inexplicable comment below what stood out to you from those 96 that we looked at 
Um, stay tuned. Uh, you're going to get this video. I'm going to release this video today, um, probably around five o'clock. But I'm also uh, at four o'clock. I release uh, the Pop Report with myself and Josh Adams. Uh, so tune into that. If you missed all the other episodes, go back and catch them. Today, uh, last night we filmed episode number three, where we talk about you know three big topics in the hobby, and then we kind of sometimes meander into other topics as well. But it's really interesting because he and I have very different collections and very different thoughts on the hobby and players in general. So it makes for a pretty interesting little. Little, uh, little two-person uh, rap session for an hour. So check that out as well. Hit the bell icon to uh, to get notifications so you don't miss any of my stuff. I've got some really good playlists out there. If you like Jordan, if you like 90s, if you just like talking you know, modern and you want to see what PWCC weeklies and monthlies are doing, uh, I'm the place for you. So subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby. And peace. Peace.